All right, welcome viewers. This is the Dead Man's Hand 420 on YouTube. My Twitch is Bill Compton underscore 1835, and if you want to game with me, my PSN is Bill underscore Compton 1835. And uh, today we are doing Game of Thrones. We got episode four, part four. Um, not really sure where we left off last time. It's been a minute since I put this game in, since I did a stream on it. Um, and actually, we are doing episode five, part one, is what we're going to call this one today. So I'm sorry about that. We are done with episode four. It's going to be episode five, part one. And uh, this game is uh, a lot more fun than originally I thought it was going to be. Uh, I have not actually seen much of Game of Thrones, uh, maybe overall, like, one and a half seasons. Uh, it's, it's an alright show, but kind of kind of weird. Um, it seems like a lot of characters kind of, like, have a thing if they don't have their, their thing. Like How fair is your father, uh, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Tommy. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff was injured. The mason was looking after him. I'm aware of Griff's injuries, and that you inflicted them. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. I want to kill Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glen. I'm not sure how he managed that. The Glenmores came to us. We never asked for their help. Oh? Perhaps I need to have a word with Lord Glenmore. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Price is going to be your head, Jack. Run me! Oh, that's rough. You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay. You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. Our sister has influence in King's Landing. She'll hear of this. King's Landing is very far away. Ah! No! Stop! Ah! Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it? Trying to kill this guy right when I get the chance. Stop! Ah! Please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Don't look. Please. Look at him, Talia. <laughs> See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. <laughs> Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. I'm still alive, isn't he? That's a lot of blood. I'll see you dead for this! And that, Talia, is why no one likes your brother. The poor lad's fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> You want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Uh, 
Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. I tried. I'm impressed. <laughs> Woo. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you. But now, I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing, win. Otherwise, I'll kill you both and be done with it. House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> Can't leave a job half finished. Ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies. Guts are just hanging out. They didn't even fall down. It's even worse. That's alright. He'll get his. Fall my woods. gonna be episode five a nest of vampires once again uh, my youtube is the dead man's hand 420 my twitch is bill compton underscore 1835 and if you want a game you can add me up on psn psn is going to be bill underscore compton 1835 today we have game of thrones chapter five or episode five i'm sorry episode five part one today and uh unfortunately he gone. But we will get our revenge, I promise you that. Only a monster would do such a thing. The Boltons will pay for this. After all we've been through, must the gods continue to shit on this house? What have we ever done to them? Follow the Starks? Obey the rule of law? Ramsay Snow is a bloody savage. He shames the entire North. Yet we're bound by law to obey him. Can't believe it's fucking come to this! 
The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be yours, Royland. You'll get no argument from me. But how do we bloody fight them? We just don't have the numbers. Not yet, anyway. And they still have Ryan. Right now, everything depends on Asher. Once he and Malcolm bring us more fighting men, then Where we... is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Oh, this is not good. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. No, Arthur, no. Arthur! It's my fault. Too many people I dying, man. To Too many people dying. I asked him to help. You can't blame yourself, Lena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. Ha. <laughs> That's nice. That's a cool nickname. That should be and like a to die. DC name or something. Like this. Marvel. Tortured. Probably is. Mutilated. Ramsay Snow did this. He's a madman. Ramsay was here because of you, Roderick. If we hadn't been your allies. Oh, bullshit. I'm sorry. He's crazy. Get out of here and do something Let's about it. Someplace, well. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? Know that we'll have our justice someday. Justice won't bring my brother back. Yeah, that's true. You've been such a friend to me, Roderick. Right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roderick. Aww, so sweet. Probably gonna go like a savage and make me kill the guy. Alright, who are we heading to next? We got a trophy up there. Set down our deeds. Looks like a bronze trophy over there. Ah, oh, there Back you are. Back to King's Landing. It's I haven't been a seen while. you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you? Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast. And you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros, in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Nah. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, you're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage. I think it's the other way around. I just can't risk being associated with you. Then go on. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. If you abandon me. Who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. She's gonna end up dead. D-E-A-D, -D -E -D, dead. Was it worth it, at least? 
sacrificing so much for your family. They're still in very grave danger, I'm afraid. Well, I know you'll do everything in your power to protect them. That's what I've been doing, genius. You want to be all dramatic, though. Fine. Better go before she sees me. She'll be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Uh, no. Now. No. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. She thinks something's up. I'm sorry they kind of forced their hand on me. Not much I can do. I would have refused if I had the option. Come on, yeah. Beska, listen. How can you still be angry at me? Is that a joke? I had Dezozaraza in my hand and you made me let him go. You know why. Yeah, you were afraid of disobeying the pretty little queen. You chose your prize over my one chance of revenge. And for what? It wasn't fair to bring you to Marina and not let you... I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Oh, another fucking apology. I'll add it to my collection. Fucking... We should never have come She's here. Warm. I like her. This city... It only holds pain for me, Yasha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse, but you denied me that. I... Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back! <laughs> Uncle, let's collect our second sons and get out of here. Yeah. If you did as you were told, go Daenerys way. should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Shit, that's not a bad thing. Sounds like jealousy to me. Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. No battle is without difficulty. Grace, but we fulfilled your orders. And for that, I am grateful. I feel a butt. I hear you out. know how to follow orders, despite your friend's efforts to make you stray. You told me Asher was a man of integrity, Malcolm. Now I know you were telling the truth. You have proved yourself an honorable warrior. You have my gratitude. Better give me something better than gratitude. Unfortunately, oh, no. I cannot spare my second son. What? But your grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. This is why you denied me my revenge? What did I tell you? You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. In truth, we are not so different. We're both far from home. We've both suffered the loss of those we've loved. And we both struggle to do what's right. And we're both easy on the eyes. <laughs> and modest, I see. I cannot give you my cell swords, but I will give you the next best thing. A dragon? Oh, I don't want gold, come on! Uh, that's just this gold lame. will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Thank you, Your Grace. We promise to put it to good use. I'm sure you will. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? 
Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. Oh, hell. I have a task no. for you. Your Grace, I. I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the time. Welcome, Bearing viewer. How are you doing today? Where are you from? I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. <sighs> the little Queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers, and I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. I did not want him to stand. So, but he is a little bit done? injured, so... Well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. I did want to say that we needed fighters, but I'm not trying to piss the Queen off. Kind of on the right foot with her at the moment. Kind of need her help, too. Garrett. Talk to him. You're freezing. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry about it. Someone has to keep watch. <sighs> oh. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Right, Sylvie. We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look. That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a dire wolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? You dressed his wound up well enough. But why did he get hurt in the first place? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! I'm asking Fishface here. Oh, whoa. Fish. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. It wasn't his fault. We were attacked. Of course you were. And even with that shiny sword of his, he couldn't keep you safe. Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Garrett a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Me neither. I'm Scottish. Fucking North Grove isn't even real. And if it is, it's probably full of wolves and more wildlings. It is real. Lord Forrester believed it. And so do I. And you're both idiots. Finn, will you just, just piss off? You. Some leader you turned out to be. Shit, I'll go by myself. You care. should listen to him. The 
further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. First I find out you're a wildling. Now you've got a sister. What else are you hiding? Nothing. I swear. I thought she could help. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. Yeah, that's understandable, though. Garrett. Mm -hmm. You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at. So you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Nah, he said it. What happened to your village? Did you leave? Well, not by choice. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. She wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't gonna make it. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrod Amini. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. Where's your mother now? <laughs> Still back at the village for all I know. She tried to send my sister away. Wrapped her up in furs and everything like a good mother would. I left that night when I heard. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> yeah, it's shit. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm starting to like this guy a little bit more. Originally, I didn't. Kind of felt that he was just a burden, but yeah, nah, he's funny as shit. As shit. Uh, so we're going to search around here. I guess I'm going to have to go up here. I wonder if her mother gave her that. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking. Well, let's take a swig. Oh, well, it's not so bad.
Little moon. Mm -hmm. so what's up what are you doing over here? It's a perfectly good fire. I'm not going anywhere near those fucking wildlings. Oh, come on. Just give them a chance. I did. And look where it got us. I'm sorry for getting you into this mess. Really. Not your fault. I wanted to come. Just didn't know this is how it'd turn out. Come on, Finn. You'll freeze your ass off if you stay here. Suppose you're right. May as well get warm before I die. Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, fens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. Mind if I give it a shot? Go ahead. You know how to use that. You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I trained at Castle Black. So you're shit, then. <laughs> That's lame. I think you need more training. Joking. Maybe next time, Garrett. Come on. Well, that's not since right. Since we don't have any food. Uh, the game just kind of screwed What's me this? a little bit. Your dinner. It won't fill you up, but it'll make you think you're not hungry for a while. At least I don't have to worry about you trying to shoot me. You ever lost anyone, Garrett? Someone you really cared about. Someone you thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. Please, Sylvie. I need to know. You better tell me. Everything you know. A few years back. One of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. Maybe they stayed there. Maybe they liked it. <laughs> Free folk never stay anywhere. You'd know that if you were. Garrett! Help! Cotta! Oh, did Finn snap? What the fuck? Huh? Look out! Oh. 
Oh, is that how it ends? Wow. Ain't even gonna give me a chance to save anybody there yet. This looks this like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. Got so, who are we do we need? stand? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. I've been fighting alongside cell swords for years, Beska. I know how to talk to killers. Understand these aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. Some fires. Eh, blood, not a big deal. You did what? <clears throat> oh, wow. What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Asha. Servants and guards of his house. They killed them all. Why? Some of these must have been slaves, too. Because they felt like it. That's a good enough reason for this lot. Your friends have been busy. Let's hope our heads don't end up here. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> they don't like us coming here uninvited. It will hardly matter who they see first. I like the big guy. Well, yeah. if it isn't Beska! The fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. <laughs> I like this one. Hey, Amaya! Company! Wow, switching to another, another part kind of fast here. Oh, okay. Same, same part, different scene. It's not a pit. Yeah, some masters couldn't get enough of the fighting, so they built their own private pits, where things could get really nasty. That's Amaya. Keep your cock in your pants, little brother. She's likely to chop it off. Oh. Well, hello there. Not many people get past the beast. 
you must need something very badly. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. I've come with an offer. I think it's one that'll interest you and your men. If you wanted my interest, you wouldn't have shown up with her. Amaya, please. Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom. You walked out on me. On all of us. Oh, wow. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Enough! I didn't come to hear your bickering. So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? Because <laughs> I already broke his damn nose. My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters! Artists who paint in blood! That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now! Free to do what you want! Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore! Why would we follow anyone ever again? You all excel at combat, but you know nothing until you've tasted the thrill of war. Waves of men crashing together. Blood and steel. In Westeros, they sing of our great warriors for thousands of years. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. You? <laughs> His name is Blood Song. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. He's the man who's going to kill your boy. Well, I'll have to kill him. It'd be a shame to waste such a talented fighter. Perhaps if I just subdue him. No one has ever subdued him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. I like her. Hey! I really I like need her. Those. You'll fight with the weapons we give you. Which is... You all see this cockless Westerose? He's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me! Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. I like that. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. 
May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Here, use this! Ready your ears for the song of blood! Don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm gonna have to refuse. <laughs> Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Son of a whore! That's no weapon worth. You won't be so lucky this time. Hate to tell you, but that wasn't luck. Are you ready, Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Oh. Alright. Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. <laughs> For that, you die slow. Last chance, Westeros. See if you're still smiling after I break your face. Surprised you can lift it. <laughs> oh, wow. The masters who once held your chains decided who lived and who died. But as you can see, I'm not here to be your master. I chose you for a reason. You're true warriors. Warriors I admire and respect. You deserve better than this. You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment. If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn. 
and to those too craven to join me. To hell with you! Alright, I want to thank everybody for watching this episode. We did just earn another trophy. We light the way. Looks like a bronze trophy up there. This is going to end uh, the episode 5 part 1 of Game of Thrones. I want to thank everybody for following along. Make sure to subscribe and follow me. And we will see you on the next episode.